Good morning, folks. Today's scientific stories are exceptionally interesting and relevant to our core topics of coverage. In case you didn't see it, that is a bright sunspot there, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. In yesterday's Planetary Geometry Deeper Look episode at suspiciousobservers.org, we saw phenomenal alignments to kick off the month and questioned if those planetary geometries would produce sunspots. It was not more than four hours later, this sunspot appeared. It's not enormous, actually only half presenting in terms of its magnetism, and is nothing scary at this time, but it is a sunspot. The number for today is 7. As we've said for years, written books on, presented on, a direct space weather impact over a storm sends it westward. Geomagnetic activity strengthens the storm itself. Since the stream from the coronal hole refused to compress the magnetosphere over Hurricane Dorian, it will not run over Florida. But for the last three days, we have not once seen the solar wind relent. We have not seen intensity drop back or do anything but strengthen. And for days, we've been in geomagnetic storm conditions, the first in a very long time. And because of that, Category 5, just like with Patricia and tons of others that came before, Bahamas, fairly devastated right now. All of this was in the climate movie we put out at the end of August. Now, while it focused on the long-term ice age cycle and problems with total solar irradiance, a solid 10 minutes was given to the solar storm hurricane connection. Seismicity took its one day off to dig deep, found a home at the transition zone more than 600 kilometers down beneath Fiji. With blood echoes continuing in the West Pacific this morning, we take our eyes there as well. Today's main stories hit this topic tremendously. While earthquake forecasting doesn't yet have its own movie, we do have QuakeWatch.net where everything can be found. Today we head to a journal I only check thrice per year. They've got two articles out this summer on the pre-earthquake electric signals, which is 90% of the forecasting game. And speaking of news that was released earlier, in sharing 179 electroquake papers over the last three years, Yes, I counted last night. You know I didn't get them all. So linked below this video are four of my favorites that simply got shafted over the years in the morning show, either because there was other stuff going on or I found the paper months late. Either way, shafted electroquake papers plus the two new ones from today, linked below, and everything is at quakewatch.net. Hubble is up next, looking at the shell shedding of a star. Basically a micronova with the central star still easily visible, and you will recall last week science dropped the bombshell that nova explosions are subject to magnetic field sculpting as they expand. Well that shouldn't be hard to see, twin sides of the magnetic sectors as denser bands parallel and then beginning to wrap around, almost like a spiral galaxy would after its first ever half twist. Either way, nova shell, patterned character. This of course ties into the 12,000 years magnetic excursion reversal cycle on Earth, the way in which all the evidence and the stories of our ancestors keep bringing us back to the sun. That was the second movie from last month, linked below by the climate movie. And of course we had kicked off the month with the plasma cosmology film, and in case you hadn't heard, they're still looking for dark matter, actually still trying to agree on what it is. By far, the most ludicrous ideas that have come out recently are unfortunately coming from the Fermi lab in Chicago. Knuckleheads have the audacity to claim WIMPs could be the size of a hundred million protons and other super large hypotheses. Excellent paper in PhysRev D today very much kicking down that idea, saying there is little room for those with a mass above one GeV per speed of light squared, which is only about the size of one to ten protons much more reasonable, but still fantasy, it's still nonsensical, stacked up against plasma cosmology. All three movies linked below in the description box, QuakeWatch.net is standing in for me until I can make the fourth movie. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.